All right, guys, I'm going to do a sh quick video out here and show you the animals. I don't know what happened to my moms. These two just didn't. They croaked on me. But I'll show you my cute Halloween decorations. Got all my stickers and this little setup right here. And then some lights around that and the thing right there. And there's stuff down here, but you can't really see it because of so many leaves. But um, out front's cute, too. I have some inflatables out there, but I'm probably not going to go out there. Let me show you this. But we'll start over here with the baby bunnies. I'll show you guys the new babies. We got five. She had six. Hey, don't start with the barking. She had six, but one didn't make it. So, show you these guys. Yeah, you can see, look in here and see the babies. Here they are. Look at how cute they are. They're all awake right now. Foster, get down. Thank you. They're so cute. There's a mama. She keeps looking in here. See them? Yeah. yeah. Let's close them up. So we got five of them. Of course, she has to have them when the weather's starting to get cold. The last two days it was in the 70s, but today it's only in the 50s. And here's Mr. Bunny. My mini Rex. His pretty blue eyes. And my chickens have decided that down there's a good place to lay eggs. And then our Coturnics. We only have four Coturnics. I think some got out. So we ended up, we're down to only four of the regular Coturnics. But all these guys up here are doing good. Got a lot of them. Up here. These are our fancy ones. Fancy Coturnics. They're all fluffing up. I gotta put some more straw in here. I put straw in here, but it sank through the bottom. So, and then in here, we got two Tennessee red quail. I think they might both be females. And we have a pair of snow... What? Okay, bob white quails, a male and a female. Okay. And then down here, we have the snowflakes. We have... I think three girls and three boys. Or maybe four boys. I gotta get rid of a few more boys. What? I'm trying to make a video, buddy. I know. The kitty always gets up there. Here's our Ameri two Americana chickens. Chicks that we got. We had three. Something got some, one of them. They don't want to stay in the fence. They're being ornery. Here's our silky pen. There's our silkies. I mean, just did that door so I can lock them up at night. And I just got two f showgirl frizzles. Or... Naked neck frizzles. I got two of them now in there because our male frizzle, he um, he got in the same house with the turkey the one night. The turkey got in the wrong place and the turkey pecked him in the head and he didn't make it. Poor little guy. So there's our guineas. They're growing up fast. We got four of them. And there's our turkeys. There's our female. She's as big as the male almost pretty much now. She's pretty much done growing. So Rick and Coral. There are our chickens. There's our Ian Samani rooster. What, buddy? There's our duck. It was... Right. Okay, the dog is fine. She won't go nowhere. It was kind of funny. Yesterday, my poor Brahma hen, she's molting. She looks terrible. Uh, yesterday, my... See, my one mallard, I have to have her in here because the, the other ones were being mean to her in the other pen. But her son, who's over here, that's the dad. You see the gray and white one? That's the dad. And then... Beside him, the littler one, is the son or daughter. I think it's a girl, actually. Well, didn't think about it. Mallards can fly. So, that little duck, that little gray and white duck, flew all the way up, all the way around the property. Like, up in there, and then flew back into the pen yesterday. It was really funny. So, but she came right back, so. But these guys like to stay over here. That's her boyfriend. The one hen. And then that's their baby. So, they stay in this pen now because... The one baby somehow can figure out how to get in the other pen. But I reinforced the pen to keep everybody in here. And but she somehow figures out how to still get into this pen sometimes. So I'll get down here and show you down here what's going on. I gotta flip this one back over. I took out the baby chicks out of here. There was two. Put them in with the big chickens. But I had to catch them yesterday, so. Or a couple days ago, so I didn't flip this back over yet. The little house. The only ones we got in the little pens is a sick one. has a cold in its eye right now. These guys, the pen's a mess. I was going to have my son help me yesterday move them over a little bit, and I forgot. But these are all the Ian Samanis. They're all muddy. Are you taking a pee? <laughs> There's Jerry. 
He's very um, ready for the girls. There's a pig. There's one. There's yeah. There's the piggy. And Sophia, our piggy, Sophia, our girl pig. And this, there's Judith. They're starting to get nice thick fur for the winter. Um, he's got his thing on him. So yeah, in a couple more weeks, I'm going to take it off so that he can breed with. Um, would you stop with Matilda? Because I don't want like to have Matilda that way. She'll have babies in April if they breed. There's a couple of other girls. There's Michonne, Sasha. And then there's the new enclosure we built. It's not nothing pretty, but it'll work. Yeah, the duckies are all in here. You want to go in? Mimi got two new duckies. Oh, that's real good there. Daryl, spill the water. Daryl just knocked the swimming pool over. Look at all the ducks and geese. I don't know. Better watch so I don't get you. So now we have, we have, let me see, four khaki Campbells. We got two, um, oh, I always forget what they're called. Oh, shoot. The black ones, I always forget what they're called. Then we got four, you can see the four mallards in there. They're, they still haven't got their colors. They're, they haven't got the red on their face yet. And we got two, um, with the fluffy heads. And we just bought two run runner ducks. You can see them in there. They're like a brownish black color runner ducks in there. And then we got four geese. We ended up, we have two Sebastian baby geese. <laughs> the goats are coming to say hi. And we got two other geese. What do you say, Judith? You want to say hi to the camera? Hi, Michonne. <laughs> Sophia, she thinks she's getting fed again. What? Oh, yep. You see all the birdies flying above us. So, yeah, yesterday my son and I built, well, me and my two sons, mostly my one son, though, we built this yesterday for these guys. Closure. So that they can get in here at night. And this locks and stuff. I mean, it's not pretty, but as long as it keeps them dry and everything. Like yesterday it started raining. And I have been putting the ducks in here, ducks and geese. They've been going in these two dog kennels. And locking them up at night because I had what well during the summer they were running loose and something got a couple of them so I've been locking them up at night but then once I shut this door if I shut them up in there all the way then the goats can't get in there or the pigs so now they have this this house so they can go in there at night I'm gonna throw some straw in there huh Sophia huh huh Sophia huh Sophia Pretty girl. He's a pretty girl. This is goats playing. They're starting to get their winter coats. Yep. Here's a couple more weeks here. I'll unhook you. Fat girl. She's so fat. That's why we thought she was pregnant, but she wasn't. She's just fat. Huh. I didn't want to play. Knock horns together. Here's Daryl. Hey, Daryl. They're starting to get a little bit thicker coat for winter. Want to say hi to the camera, Daryl? Uh, say hi. Say hi to everybody. Mommy, He's fat, huh? He is a big piggy. I'll tell you, people. Anybody that's thinking about getting pigs for pets that have kids or grandkids that are around a lot, I would definitely tell you to get the coonies. These things are the most gentle pigs you could ever be around. Can't you get your water? They always they dumped all their waters out. All right, hold on a second, buddy. There's a, <laughs> you can see uh, Jerry's really in the mood to be with these girls. He's getting real wound up. Oh, he's chasing one of the geese now. But uh, I didn't want him to have babies in the well, cold weather still. And here in Ohio, I mean, sometimes cold weather is all the way to April. But getting them a little bit of water. Because I don't want to fill their waters. Because they're going to be going to bed soon. I'll fill them up tomorrow. We're going to put some gravel down because oh, it was so muddy right here. I was sinking from all the rain. But there. No, we're not going to go in with the chickens tonight, I don't think. Hey, quit picking on that chicken. Oh. Got to go deal with these turkeys that are picking on the chickens lately. I'm probably going to have to move them into their own pen. Hey! 
No! No! Come on. Get in here. She's the one with a bad leg, too, and I had to mess with her. Poor Hoppy. You two better quit or you two are going to find new homes. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting sick of it. Foster, stop. Yeah. These two have been being like jerks lately. Every once in a while I catch them picking on a chicken, and I've heard that happen, so. They've pecked a few chickens that ended up in their house with them at night, so. thinking they might have to go in their own place soon. It is even spring, and that should be breeding season. I mean, yep. I don't know. Break this old egg out here. <laughs> old eggs. That's an old egg. Poor Hoppy. Cherry's really wanting those girls. It's so funny. Two more weeks, Jerry, then I'll let unhook you. I was really sad about our guinea. We ended up with a really pretty cream, like creamish white colored one. And it's the only one that didn't make it out of all the babies. It's ticking me off. We got, we ended up with four, three, three babies that like made it, I think. One's like a purple color and the other two are like the other color. You're what? Oh my. Oh my. Sure, that's yours. I don't know what he's saying is his, but make sure these turkeys aren't being jerks. I'm thinking I might have to move them into the pen with the ducks and geese because ducks and the geese are bigger. Maybe. So I don't know. She's out. Yeah, she's out. She'll get back in. She can fly up in there when she wants in. But you can see my garden's done. It's, everything's pretty much dead. There's a lot of tomatoes in there. I've been feeding them to the animals each day, giving them some stuff so turkey's being butt heads again but that's what's going on here at the homestead right at the moment i just want to show you guys an update with the animals before the weather got too yucky i probably won't do many videos in the winter it'll be so cold what oh i don't know so um that's about it i'm gonna get off here and i'll be doing some painting Tonight or tomorrow, maybe I'll do a painting video. So, well, two of the dogs came back in. We still gotta get Basil. So. Hey, um, so if you guys want to see more of my videos on my homestead or reborning videos, just like my channel and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.